Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Financial Tidbits here with me, Royston at NAOF. Most people are well aware of the volatility seen in China stocks of late. If you hold a portfolio comprising mainly of China-related stocks, it must have been a very painful last quarter, I'm sure. The million dollar question is of course, is the sell-off for China stocks done and dusted? No one can say with certainty at this current juncture, but one super investor has doubled down his stakes on this blue chip China tech behemoth in the latest quarter. Who is this super investor and what stock did he buy aggressively in the last quarter? That super investor is Warren Buffett's long-term buddy, Charlie Munger, and that China tech company is Alibaba. Charlie Munger increased his stakes in Baba by 83% since July as the stock price fell nearly 50%. Who would have thought that Alibaba, which hit a peak of $320 back in October last year, would crumble more than 50% over the past year? However, Mr. Munger, who like his buddy Warren, is probably more of a value practitioner than a growth investor, believes that now is the right time to act when there's deep fear associated with China-related stocks, and Baba is one blue-chip China counter he probably believes will be able to withstand the test of time. I'm not going to do a deep dive into whether Baba is a counter worth buying now or should one continue to stay away. For disclosure purposes, I do have shares in Baba. Hiya! For this video, I would like to introduce to viewers this website called Data Roma, which is a website that details the transactional records of super investors. I don't see my name in this list, probably because my portfolio is not at the billion dollar level, but one day it might magically appear, yeah? Never say never. So, as you can see, this website documents the shareholdings of renowned funds as they are all mandated to disclose the stocks which they bought and sold in the past quarter. Charlie Munger's fund, Daily Journal Corp, is the first to report for the last quarter and as you can see, he believes in a concentrated approach with only 5 stocks in his portfolio, 3 being banks and the only counter which he added onto his position in the last quarter was Alibaba, where he increased his stakes close to 83%. Does Uncle Charlie know something or is he going to do a major U-turn just like what his buddy Warren did when he sold his airline stakes last year amid the height of COVID-19 shortly after saying that his airline stakes are here to stay for the long term. This website is very useful in my view to track the activities of super investors. You can tell from a glance which are the most widely owned stocks by these investors with Facebook currently sitting in pole position. Something funny, however, is happening to Facebook which I will detail later. If you click on the Super Investors tab, you can see which are the top 10 holdings in their portfolio, with the largest holding starting from the left hand side. You can also click on the Activity tab and check out which are the top buys and sells in the latest quarter. I would say that the buys and sells are equally distributed in 2Q21 and it will be interesting to see if these super investors are capitalizing on the price weaknesses seen in September or are they preparing for a greater sell-off for the rest of the year. One area not usually look at in this website is the commentaries and articles segment where this website also tracks articles or interviews relating to these super investors. For example, Terry Smith a highly respectable fund manager based out of the UK but invests mainly in US stocks, talk about why some CEOs are better investors than most fund managers in this article, which is definitely worth the 3 minutes read, one where he highlights the key financial metric of return on capital, ROC. Besides updating the super investors position every quarter, the website also tracks the real-time purchases or sales of this super investor's portfolio, which one can access by clicking onto the real-time tab. Now, the last area which I'd like to highlight to my viewers is the insider transaction, which is another useful set of information provided by this website. Here, you can see which are the insiders that are selling and buying their company shares over a defined period. And as can be seen over the past one month, the number of sales transactions amounted to more than 40 billion 
10 times more than the number of buy transactions taking place. Over the past one week, that selling figure is roughly 11 billion, 50 times more than the number of purchases. Well, apparently the insiders are now preparing for the bear to rear its ugly head. Remember, I said something funny is going on with Facebook earlier. Its CEO, amid all the hoo-ha pertaining to Facebook and Instagram six-hour outage, is quietly selling his shares in the dark. Just over the past one month, Mark sold a whopping 630 million worth of Facebook shares, making him the number one most bearish CEO of the month. Well, maybe he's just cashing out a tiny portion of his billion dollar Facebook empire, but nonetheless, such actions don't inspire much confidence amid all the negative media attention his company is currently facing. To conclude this short video, I would say it is premature to derive the conclusion that the worst is over for China stocks, especially Alibaba and its founder Jack Ma, who has been on radio silence mode since the failed listing of his NIPO. While Uncle Charlie has given his stamp of approval in Baba and sees it as a value buy, he might change his mind tomorrow. Who knows? Nonetheless, for those who are seeking to track the sales and purchases of super investors, the Data Roma website is a treasure trove of information that one will find very useful. I hope that you have enjoyed this short sharing session where the main purpose is to introduce the Data Roma resource to my viewers. For those looking to trade and go long on BABA, despite the recent rebound in its share price, I will be hesitant to enter into a position at the current moment and will wait for its momentum to build up further. I'm using the Traders GPS platform to guide me on an entry position and at this current juncture, there's no clear signal that a bottom has been found. Once again, do hit the like button if you find this video helpful and subscribe to the NUF YouTube channel. This is Royston, signing out.